Hey, what's going on guys? So, it's Thursday and I'm working on a video that will go out tomorrow about carving the walnut log into a bowl. That, that carving or that bowl is really inspired by the artist Barbara Hepworth, who is a, a sculptor. She's no longer alive. I think she died maybe 10 or 20 years ago. Anyway, very talented. So if you want to learn a little bit more about her sculpture, definitely uh, uh, check her out, Google her. Uh, but I thought very inspiring and maybe it will inspire you and in whatever you're designing with furniture. So that's a, a project that will go out tomorrow. Uh, right now I'm working on panels. This is uh, something I paint on and I make these panels and they're designed to fit into uh, frames that I make. And another video, I've taken footage, I haven't put it together as a video yet, but I did uh, take some footage of turning old flooring. This is, uh, it was old cherry flooring that came with the house. I had four bundles of old cherry flooring and literally I'd been moving it from shop to shed to garage. And finally I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go and mill this down and use it for something. And it's kind of always nice to not have to move anything anymore and I'm I'm definitely in a uh, a mode of trying to get rid of things or reuse things or <clears throat> make things useful anyway so that's another thing I'm working on on Sunday I'll have the Vermont uh, not the Vermont but the Green Mountain Glove uh, video up that's a tour of the Green Mountain Glove Company in Randolph Vermont and uh, I really enjoy videos like that because I like to know what it takes to to make something on all the moving parts and in this video we start in the basement and we uh, see the old machines that cut the uh, not the leather the maybe you call it leather but it, the gloves are made out of goat skin specifically goat skin not uh, cow hide because goat skin doesn't shrink or get hard uh, when it gets wet so uh, that's one of the things that owner Sam Hooper talks about during the tour. So I'm just about finished with that video. I've got to do uh, basically an intro and an outro. And I think I got a, a sponsor for that episode. So that's kind of uh, exciting for me because it's one of those things where I think it's interesting. It's the kind of videos that I want to post in between project videos on my channel. And if I can get, if I can find a way for them to maybe not make a lot of money, but at least offset the cost of traveling to Vermont and things like that. So uh, you'll see uh, on Sunday if, if I was able to, uh, to secure that sponsor. So uh, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe I should talk about sponsors for a minute because I think people are always interested in how you... Uh, manage to get people to sponsor videos. So I use a lot of products. I've been doing this kind of work for more than uh, 30 years. So I know a lot of companies that make quality products. <clears throat> and when I start to work on a project, I start thinking about what it's gonna take first. And when I think of maybe a specific tool or product, then I send Peter an email or a text and then he tries to uh, get in touch with the company and that's basically how I start working with with companies so Waterlocks is a sponsor from time to time they'll be sponsoring a, a video shortly of uh, the bowl video actually the walnut bowl video Mohawk is a sponsor I don't really have any major tool sponsors um, would be nice to have all the tools in the shop one color I, I'm not really uh, dedicated to one specific company. I think Makita makes great tools, Milwaukee makes great tools, uh, DeWalt makes great tools, uh, Hitachi, Hitachis are, are good. Uh, so any one of those, if they were to say, hey John, uh, we really like what you're doing and we wanna support your channel and make it easier for you to make content and uh, all you have to do is replace all of your tools with you know, our tools so, your, so our brand is more uh, obvious, that would be great with me. Now you do see me use Milwaukee a lot, um, but that's simply because Milwaukee sent me a few tools. There's no payment involved there, but they were uh, nice enough to send me 
uh, their tools, and I'm a, I'm a fan of Milwaukee. I think the first router I ever bought was a Milwaukee, uh, but I like Porta Cable too. Um, you know, so anyway, uh, that's about it with the uh, sponsors. Uh, another road trip that we have coming up. We're going to head up to Vermont again, I hope in the beginning of November, to try to work towards this uh, idea of building a cabin on the land that I own in Randolph. And so we're gonna do a little research on uh, what it takes to build a cabin. There's obviously some questions there. What kind of, is it gonna be an off the grid cabin? Uh, what do I do about water and septic? I think I can get water uh, from a spring on the property. But you're definitely going to have to, or I'm definitely going to have to deal with septic. Uh, maybe I can get a holding tank. I don't know. So this is going to be a real learning experience for me. And I do think that this project's going to happen. And if it, it does, I'm definitely making videos of, on every aspect of it. So anyway, um, I guess that's what's going on. Uh, the shed video or the shed project. It's pretty much done. Like I said, I didn't make a lot of videos on that because I'm really busy with work, making frames. You know that that's a big bulk of my business, making custom frames. And uh, getting that shed done was just something to, you know, work on Saturdays and Sundays and spare time just to try to get it closed in before the winter. And then, uh, and I should get that done in about a week or two. And if I can, then it'll be closed in and I can go ahead and sheetrock it and, and uh, turn it into a, a usable space uh, for the shop here. So anyway, that's what's going on. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.